one of the most life transforming things that you can do is create a deeper sense of self-awareness to create an awareness of your worldview the way in which you interpret yourself the way in which you perceive others the assumptions you make about the world around you the expectations that you have for relationships the expectations that you have for yourself and also to create an awareness of your emotional content any triggers that you may have any past trauma that as of yet remains unhealed and to be able to integrate all of that knowledge into your day-to-day -day life so that you are not as reactive that you don't take things quite as personally and that you are less likely to create narratives and stories which are extremely painful and that you are more able to connect with yourself connect with other people and to enjoy life to be able to experience it fully as opposed to experiencing it through the lens of pain and self-depreciation so many of us carry a self-concept that is laced with shame and internalized anger, a real sense of self-loathing and self-repulsion and rejection. And this makes life so incredibly heavy and challenging because not only do we carry around this self-hatred, but we also assume that other people see us the way that we see ourselves. So we project all of those feelings onto the people that are closest to us and assume that they don't approve of us or that they find us revolting or inadequate or that we are unlovable in some way and it makes things so difficult it makes relationships so difficult it makes life so difficult but it's recognizing that although this may be the concept you have of yourself based on your childhood experience it is inaccurate it is not something that you have to continue on believing however it sounds very convincing so it can take a bit of time to resolve but it is entirely possible Similarly, our concept of relationships is very much based on our childhood. Our attachment style is generally acquired during the first few years of our life. And depending on the caregiver that we had, that attachment style is one that is either secure, where a person is very secure within their relationships, where they can be both independent, but also very connected with another person, or it can be insecure and insecure attachments manifest in a few different ways I'm actually going to do a video on it over the next few days and these attachment styles can make healthy relationships very difficult to navigate because again we are forming an assumption on the relationship based on past experience as opposed to experiencing the relationship that we have in front of us and it's just recognizing how inaccurate our thinking can be and how convincing our expectations and our predictions for the world can be in really lying to us about our reality you know the more we can understand the stories and the narratives that we have going on in our mind the less personally we are going to take certain events the less um, pain we're going to experience because again when you feel a certain way about yourself you are going to extrapolate that feeling on to almost every aspect of your life without even realizing it and consequently everything becomes an ordeal every everything becomes difficult and everything becomes painful. It can be really uncomfortable initially when we realize that the way in which we interpret ourselves, the beliefs that we have about the world, the beliefs that we have about our reality are possibly inaccurate and a lot of the time not really all that beneficial. However, the more we can take a step out of our thinking patterns and a step out of our worldview and our limiting beliefs, the more likely we are to be able to come at it from, I suppose, a more compassionate perspective and this isn't about kind of glossing over with some sort of positive thinking it's about being able to see things in a kinder light being able to see things in a way that is a little less personal and a little less painful 
the more emotionally aware we are, the more likely we are to be able to tend to our emotional process as opposed to jumping to these conclusions, as opposed to creating a story to match how we feel. I mean, we can't help how we feel, but the more comfortable we are with some of the more difficult emotions and bodily sensations, the more likely we are to be able to move through them without judgment, without adding on an unhelpful narrative. And this is particularly important for anyone who has really deep rooted emotional triggers as a consequence of past trauma because again we see the world through the lens of any trauma that we have experienced and this can result in a world that is very fearful very scary and very anger provoking because again it just becomes a representation of what you believe about humankind in general and what you believe about the world and it's just about allowing yourself to heal through these emotions heal through past trauma to be able to tolerate pain tolerate very intense sensations without becoming overly identified with them now all of this can be achieved through numerous different avenues and i suppose one of the most uh, helpful ones is to create a sense of self-awareness through mindful practice and contemplation. Now mindfulness is basically about accepting the moment as it is. It's about paying attention on purpose without any judgment and frequently when the moment isn't exactly what we would have liked or desired or anticipated we really wrestle with that. We wrestle with what already is. So practicing acceptance, practicing mindfulness, isn't necessarily easy and doesn't feel particularly pleasant however it's the only game in town really I mean <laughs> we spend so much time and effort fighting reality fighting what already is as opposed to finding a place of equanimity even if the, the situation that you're in isn't ideal or isn't all that pleasant and then being able to decide what it is that you need to do differently in order for things to be different Likewise, a contemplative practice gives us the capacity to be able to detach from our thoughts, to observe them and to not always have to believe everything that pops into our head. I mean, ultimately thoughts are just thoughts, but we tend to assume that we are doing the thinking they tend to just materialize by themselves. And the more you practice uh, contemplation, meditation, whatever, the more likely you are to be able to see this and to almost find it laughable how quickly we come to such negative and painful conclusions about any scenario. Um, what can be very helpful as well is doing some work around somatics being able to experience the emotional sensations that we have on a daily basis being able to be in your body to be embodied and this is so difficult again for anyone who has experienced trauma because there is a tendency to dissociate to almost cut yourself off from your bodily experience because it's painful um, a hypervigilant nervous system is extremely difficult to be in and it's so much easier for people to remain up in their head and it takes a lot of work to reintegrate yourself into your body to come home to yourself to realize that your entire life is just a practice of coming back coming back to the now coming back to the body coming back to the heart coming back to the soul but it's such a beautiful path it's such a beautiful journey to travel on because it just changes your entire perspective on the world on other people you see things in a lot more um i suppose in a lot more vivid a way you see things uh so in a lot more color things are a lot brighter you're more appreciative of the mundane things because you're not always thinking about the future you're not always stuck in the past you're in the present and you're in the moment even if that moment is a little bit tricky you can find something nice about it you can find something even if it's just your own grit your own resilience i mean there is always something to be thankful for and to switch your focus to if you would like to find out more uh, about how you can become more mindful uh, more aware of your thoughts more aware of your emotions and get in touch with me on the website it's fundamental study